five years in the making, and the time has come for the bout you've all been waiting for. It was accurately billed as the fight of the century. Not only two of the most recognisable boxers on the planet, but two of the greatest to ever grace the squared circle. This was the number one fight. This was the fight that had to be made. The moment that Mayweather Pacquiao gets made, everybody knows this is going to be the biggest money fight in the history of the sport. It's an open and shut case. In 2015, Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao finally stood across the ring, ready to determine who was the better man. Tension and excitement were at an all-time high for one single fight that was about to generate $600 million. Comparable only to the likes of the Super Bowl, this astronomical figure for a single event broke all manner of records. With ticket prices only starting at $1,500, gate receipts garnered a bumper haul. It was pay-per-view buys, however, that secured both men nine-figure purses as over $400 million worth of sales were cleared. Ultimately, across all the drama of negotiations, stipulations, and contractual demands, fight fans can be thankful that the bout even took place at all. It was 2010 when it could and should have actually happened. Floyd recorded back-to-back -back victories over Oscar De La Hoya and Ricky Hatton in an immense 2007. The De La Hoya fight went down to the wire as Oscar briefly rediscovered his prime for the first half of the contest. Floyd adapted to assert his dominance and establish himself as boxing's new financial king. My name is Floyd. My name is Floyd. My name is Money May Weather. His win over the unbeaten Hatton seven months later saw cultures collide as the hitman's army descended on Las Vegas, determined to topple the braggadocious American star. After knocking out Hatton, Mayweather made the remarkable decision to retire, citing a lost love for the sport and some intense soul searching. Because I gave the sport my whole life, so I really don't, you know, as right now, I'm really bored with the sport of boxing. Dubious observers speculated that the money team Kingpin was avoiding his toughest challenges and would return in a more favourable landscape. Following a near two-year hiatus, money reappeared in 2009 to defeat Juan Manuel Marquez and reassume his throne. Sensational performance by a sensational fighter. Even though Marquez had made his name as a sterling champion, he was suitably undersized, north of 140 pounds. During Floyd's absence, Manny Pacquiao wasted little time filling the gap with his own impressive wins over Mayweather's victims. First, punching a fragile De La Hoya into retirement before a fizzing display of speed and power left Hatton strewn across the canvas. A rapid-fire 2009 shellacking of Miguel Cotto showcased the Filipino's explosive two-fisted accuracy, but it was arguably his Texas domination of Antonio Margarito that exemplified peak Pac-Man. Entering the history books as an eight-division world ruler, Pacquiao bludgeoned the Mexican beast for 12 rounds. Severely damaging Margarito's eye, dangling him on the string of a mercy stoppage, this was a sizzling southpaw in his perfect prime. This fight has gone on too far, too long. As the pressure steadily increased, Manny and Floyd had reportedly come to a mega fight agreement. Contracts were rumoured to have been signed. Mayweather then demanded Olympic-style drug testing. Deadlines got missed and both went their separate ways. Floyd Mayweather, may or may not weather, is scared. Just say the word Pacquiao. Just say Pacquiao. Mosley. <laughs> Shut the f*** up and fight. Split the money. Just f***ing do it. People are tired of it. Now people are like, I don't know. Now I'm hearing debates again about, about who wins that fight. People will say he what, didn't what? take on the other best. Well, everybody's entitled to admit their own opinion. Following many false dawns, some five years later, both men approached the end of their respective careers. No, he's been knocked out! A sensational right hand knockout by a bloodied Juan Manuel Marquez, and that is the keystone moment of his career. I want to go out with a bang. So let's make this fight happen. Mayweather versus Manny Pacquiao, May 2nd. Sequel to Mayweather. Finally, all key players put egos aside and delivered what every fight fan wanted. He's going to fight me. He's going to fight me. He's going to fight me. Yes, he's going to fight me. Ooh. We are now just hours away from the richest and most hyped boxing match ever happening tonight 
in Vegas. They are calling it the fight of the century. They're calling it the fight of the century, the bout between the two biggest names in boxing. They will determine at long last which one of them is the best. The fight itself failed to live up to the hype. Earning $5 million a minute, Floyd did a masterful job of negating the Pac-Man's speed and limited his output to single-figure rounds. Mayweather was awarded a unanimous decision victory to assert his dominance in the rivalry. One judge only awarded Manny two rounds. The Filipino idol later claimed an injured shoulder and still maintains to this day that he won the bout. If financial gain was a true measure of success, then both of these men left the Las Vegas ring as extremely wealthy winners. I made you guys eat your words, and you know I made you guys eat your words. Unprecedented $600 million prize pot was divided among all parties. The hype and anticipation built over a decade helped drive this record-breaking event. So I got like, I got like, let me see, it's 80,000. Okay. I got like 80,000. Oh. oh, shit. Minister still right there. Oh, I still shit. got it. Oh.